Hi everybody, welcome to my Minecraft tutorial. This is how to install a mod for Minecraft. In fact, this is how to install three very specific mods for Minecraft that'll help you install other mods for Minecraft. As you can see here, I'm actually at the one-stop mod shop on the minecraftforum.net forums. And this is a sort of compilation of a lot of the available mods for Minecraft, as you can see here. Animal dungeons, better ores, block painting, uh, let's see, elemental bows, there's a whole bunch, human mobs. Now as you can see over here in the right, in the red, to the right of the title, for example, baby animals. These are the required mods to make baby animals work properly. Audio mod, mod loader, and spawn list. In fact, those three are needed for many of the more popular mods. Human mobs, for example, is another very uh, very good mod that many people use. Mine Colony requires mod loader. And as you can see, a lot of these RPG mobs is another one. Requires those three. So what this tutorial is going to do is going to show you how to get these three required mods so that you can have fun with these other ones. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing you need to do, oh, actually, the very first thing before we do this is you should always back up your Minecraft folder before you do any kind of editing. I'm not going to do that in this tutorial. I already have another tutorial that shows you how to back up your Minecraft folder. So before you follow along on this tutorial, please go get that tutorial, follow along the, the backup process, back up your folder, and then come back to this particular tutorial. Okay. If you're still with me and not totally lost, let's get started. First thing you want to do is load up your browser, go to Google. And by the way, I'm using Windows 7 here and Chrome browser. So your window may look a little bit different. So use whatever browser you want to use. And you want to type in Minecraft Mod Loader and hit Enter. It should be the first listing in Google and it says on it, Rizugami's Mods. Click on it. And that'll bring you to the forum post where Rizugami's Mods live. And just scroll down. We don't need to read all that right now. We just want to go and download the Mod Loader. And here it is. This section right here, it says the Mods. Mod Loader Beta. And it tells you the version number. Now this should be compatible with the current version of Minecraft. Just make sure it is. They match the numbers here so that it is compatible. Shows you the compatibility. Now we want to go down here and click on download v5. Version 5 is the latest. I'm going to click on version 5 and download it. Because I'm using Chrome, I have assigned a new folder called Chrome Downloads. Just keep an eye on where this is going to go. You may have yours going to your Documents folder or it may be going to your desktop. Just keep an eye on that. See, mine's going to this particular folder that I've created. The default file name is fine. Mod loader, blah, 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 dot zip. Good enough. Click on save. Okay, that's been saved. Now we want to scroll down a little bit farther until you see the audio mod. Click on the download link. And again, just note where this file is going to be downloaded. AudioMod.zip is a fine name. We'll keep it. Click on Save. All right, that's done. We have those two. Now we have to get one more. Let's go back to the Mod Shop. Spawn List is the other one. So let's go back to Google. This one's a little bit more difficult to locate. Type in Minecraft Spawn List Mod, like that. And here you see it's 303's Mods. Click on that. And then scroll down and you'll see right here Spawn List Utility Library. Click on that. Now we're not done clicking. And here we are. That'll bring us to this spawnless utility library with another link that says oh we've migrated to MC Mod Center okay well click on that and that brings you to this particular website so now scroll make sure you're actually looking at the right one spawn list okay that's good 
this download button right here. That's the one we want. Click on it. Chrome pops up the little window. I like the name. Click Save. Okay, so now that we have all three of those mods, we're going to go ahead and install. Let's go back to the Rizugumi, Rizugami mod, and that was called Mod Loader. I just want to show you, whoops, Mod Loader. I'll show you the printed instructions that they give you how to install this. This is pretty much for every mod. So go to that Mod Loader thread and you'll scroll down a little bit until it's you see this section right here installation now again I am using Windows 7 you're depending on what version of Windows or if you're using a Mac then forget it, it's going to be completely different you're going to do these instructions here but I'm not going to do that because I'm on a Windows machine so essentially what we need to do in a nutshell is open up this folder called minecraft.jar which is installed with Minecraft and then we have to take the files from the mod and then drop them into the minecraft.jar folder. Now, there's something you're going to need to do this. You're going to need either WinRAR or 7-Zip. These are compression and decompression programs. I have 7-Zip installed. If you don't have 7-Zip or, or WinRAR, go grab it now because you need to have that installed. That is not part of this tutorial. I do have another tutorial that shows you how to get Win 7-Zip. Uh, so if you're stuck there and you don't have 7-Zip, pause this, go get 7-Zip, and come back. All right, let's continue on with this particular tutorial. First thing we need to do is open up our app data folder. And to do that, you want to go to Start. Click on your Start button. Again, this is Windows 7. And I have this handy little search bar right here. If you don't have this, you might have another section over here that says Run. If you're on XP, if you don't have any of this, then look at your keyboard. In the lower left-hand corner, you've got that little Windows symbol. Hold that key down and then hit the R key. And that brings up this Run window, just like that. And what you want to do is type in percent sign and then App Data. A-P-P-D-A-T-A -P -P -A. and then another percent symbol. Hit OK. And this opens up a hidden folder under your username app data roaming and you'll see at the very top is dot minecraft. This is the minecraft folder. So go ahead and open up the minecraft folder. Let's go back now to our instructions. It says open up app data check browse to the dot minecraft bin folder okay let's go back to our window here and here's the bin folder double click on that and then you see a whole bunch of files in here and this is the one we're after minecraft.jar if you don't see dot jar if you don't see any extensions at all after a period you may not be showing your extensions that sounds life-threatening doesn't it but it's not we can get our extensions showing so let's come up here to organize. Click on Folder and Search Options. Now, once again, if you don't have Windows 7, if you're on Vista or XP, you should see a Tools menu up here. Click on Tools, drop down the Tools menu, and you should see a folder or Folder Options. I forget exactly, but it's something like that. Go to your Folder Options, and you should see these three tabs. Click on the View tab, and then scroll down here, and look for this checkbox, hide extensions for known file types. If it's checked, note what happens. The extensions disappear. Take that check mark out, click apply, click OK, and you want to see those extensions. Okay, let's go back to this window. Okay, we've done that. Now we want to open up the Minecraft.jar with our zipping program. Let's go back to this window. I'm going to right click on the minecraft.jar and it's going to give me this menu. Now since I have 7-zip installed, it gives me a little sub menu that says 7-zip. If I point to that, it gives me all these options. I want the first one, open the archive. And here we have a picture of all the files within that minecraft.jar. This is what makes Minecraft 
run. Let's go back to the browser. Okay, we've done that. Check. Four, drag and drop the necessary files into the jar. What they don't explain here is what files. So that's what I'm here to do for you. Basically, these mods down here have files to be dumped into that jar file. So let's go over to that folder, the downloads folder. We're gonna let's do mod loader first. So go to your downloads folder. You should have these three mods in there. I'm going to right click on the mod loader and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to open up this archive because these are zip files. It's basically a bunch of files in there. We want to open that archive. So now we have mod loader. Now let's go back to this other window with 7-zip. I want to get both of these up at the same time. So we have two 7-zip files showing. We've got this one which is the minecraft.jar with all those files and we have this one showing what's inside the mod loader zip file. So like the instructions said we want to take all of these files in here and drag and drop them into this window. So go up to the edit menu and choose select all and it highlights all of those files. Now this is very simple. Click and hold the mouse button down, the left mouse button, and then drag them right across and just drop them in. And you get this confirmation window that says, are you sure you want to do this? And you're going to say, oh yeah. And now those files have been copied in. Let's close that down. We're going to leave the minecraft.jar window open for now. Let's go back and let's get the audio mod. Right click, choose 7-zip, open archive. Now let's get our minecraft.jar back up and once again, we're going to do the same thing. In fact, this has folders in it. We're going to grab all of them. Select all. Drag and drop. Are you sure? Yep. Done. Close that one. And we're going to do the same thing for the final mod, and that's spawn list. Right click, 7-zip, open archive. Get this one showing. And this is just one file, and we're just going to drop it right in. I am sure. Now we can close that. We're not going to close this one yet. Do not close the Minecraft jar. There is one more thing to do there. Let's go back to the instructions. So we're done with four. We dragged and dropped the necessary files into the jar. Check. Number five is delete the meta-inf folder in the jar. Let's go back to our 7-zip window. Find that folder, which is right here. Highlight it. Click it once. And then delete. Are you sure you want to delete? I am. Goodbye. Done. Let's go back. Okay, five. Check. Number six is run Minecraft and enjoy. There's really nothing to enjoy yet because we haven't installed a mod that does anything. This is everything we just did is stuff that works behind the scenes to allow other mods to work properly, such as the fairy mod, the cat mod, the mo creatures mod, baby animals, etc. So now that we're done with that, we can go ahead and close that 7-zip file, and it's done. Now let's just run Minecraft just to make sure that it runs properly. I'm going to go ahead and start mine up. There we go. Log in. Load up my tutorial world. Just make sure I'm in one piece. Everything looks okay. Hit escape, save and quit. Check the options, everything looks good. Alright, good. So, we've done things right, at least from that perspective. Minecraft still runs. That's a good sign. So that is the end of this tutorial. Again, now that we have those three things installed, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do additional tutorials and show you specific mods. The first one I'm going to do, I think, is the fairy mod. I don't see it here, but I've played it. It's a lot of fun. It adds little fairies to the game, and you can give them flowers. They do funny, cool stuff. Um, I'm going to do Mine Colony, which is this one. I'm going to do Human Mobs. Mine Colony adds a bunch of NPCs, non-player characters to your game. They just kind of build stuff on their own. Oh, here's the fairy mod. 
This adds little fairies and a fairy queen. They ride chickens. They can pick you up. And if you fight them, they steal stuff from you. Anyway, okay, that's neither here nor there. That's not part of this tutorial. I just wanted to get those three mods installed, and that's when the fun really begins. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.